about to do a gluten-free interview, Jeff. Oh, I love it. That's right. The whole interview will be gluten-free. <laughs> Emily Smith is here. Best to this life is you got a blog, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Website. Yeah. All kinds of good things. And you, you're gluten-free for a reason. Yeah, I was diagnosed uh, gluten intolerant about 10 years ago. Yeah. And uh, been you had since no idea since... up until then? No, no idea. Um, kind of did the rigmarole with doctors right. and figured it out. Well, let's make some gluten-free muffins. Okay. I must tell you, Emily. Go ahead. Uh-huh. What what's first? Well, to get started, uh, this is a really simple recipe. It's perfect for the season because we've got apples and cranberries, which are overflowing in the grocery store. Yeah. So we'll start with dry ingredients. We've got about a cup of oat flour. Uh-huh. Just go like that. Okay. We're going to throw in some baking powder, a teaspoon. Right. Then got about half a teaspoon. Of baking soda. Of baking soda. Right. Make it go. About a Make sure you get those two right. Full cinnamon, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a full one of cinnamon. Okay. Then we're going to go over to our wet ingredients. Okay. Got two eggs. Right. I had uh, gluten free oatmeal this morning, this very morning. Really? Yep. I'm a fan. When did you start going gluten-free? Well, I'm not completely gluten-free. That's it about it so far, up. but I'm nice. working on it. Nice. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people are going gluten-free, um, and it is intimidating to start baking gluten-free, um, but on my website, I do a lot of simple recipes that you can do from scratch, uh -huh. and it's really not as easy. It's, it's much easier than it would seem. Yeah. It, 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 so, yeah. just a little bit of oil. Okay. Now, how do you, you, on your website and then your mm -hmm. blog and all that, you talk about where to find gluten-free stuff, right? Yeah, uh, stores, um, restaurants, bakeries, that sort of thing in the Ottawa area, mm. just to facilitate um, those that are new or looking for that gluten-free lifestyle. Right, right. Are and you finding more and more people are interested in that? Absolutely. I think you're right. Um, a lot of people are finding out that they are intolerant mm -hmm. and they really don't know where to start. Yeah. Um, the grocery stores have picked that up. You can see that now we have gluten-free aisles. Yeah. Um, our little sections and it's you know you can go and find that but it's nice to be able to do things by scratch too. What happens when uh, you're uh, you're gluten intolerant like it's just tough eh? To, to well I think people have different symptoms yeah. um, and of course there is the celiac disease so that's a full yeah. um, but intolerance you're just gonna get um, you know sore tummy and not feeling so hot. <laughs> yeah yeah, and for a long time you don't know why. Yeah, exactly. And then you go, wait a second. How do you find out? Like, is it, does a doctor tell you? Um, for me, I went to a natural path. Yeah. Um, but you can go get some testing done at the doctor. I'm just gonna put a little bit of raw sugar in here, mm -hmm. uh, right from the health food store. You can get that in bulk. It's the raw sugar. Yeah, it's just nice. Yeah. It's nice to sprinkle on top afterwards too. It just yeah. gives that raw little sugar glamour. in your coffee is good too. Mm-hmm. I like it. So this recipe is perfect. It just makes twelve. You can make that right in the morning. It takes 18 minutes in the oven at 350. Right. And I mean, it's a perfect way to start your day. It's a breakfast food. It's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for uh, traveling. Oh yeah. Like you got to take one to work or whatever. And the thing about this recipe is you can interchange the fruit. You can add blueberries, strawberries. Oh, whatever you, know? you want. Yeah. So it's nice and uh, you know seasonal with the cranberries. Exactly. And, and cranberries are good for you. I think I'm filling these muffins a little bit a little too. Little too much. <laughs> you're supposed to make a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll have to do with nine. That's okay. Yeah. Um, where can we, uh, people find more information uh, on what you do? Um, on my blog at uh, bestofthislife.com. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try one of these. We're going to we'll put those in the oven if you mm -hmm. want. Because we did preheat. Oh, we did. Okay, we're going to put nine because I cut short. Right. That's okay. Nine muffins. <laughs> Not a dozen. <laughs> Here, look. It looks like a, a regular muffin. Like, there's no... I, I can't think that you would look at this muffin and go, oh, <laughs> there's no gluten in it. Then when you taste, taste it, you go, oh, it's a delicious muffin. <laughs> Thank you. You don't go, hmm, I wish it had gluten in it. No. Because you, you, you don't miss mm -mm, it. Not at all. Not one single bit. Mm, that's good for you. Thank you. My Emily, best. thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, you should have one. We put more in there, so there'll be fresh ones later if you want to stick around. And people should stick around because coming up shortly, your uh, opportunity to win a $500, $500 HMV gift card. How about that? That's so good the camera was shaking just thinking about it. We'll be back with that more after this. Don't go away.